Jason, congratulations. You had to be very patient today, didn't you? Yep, yeah, we did. Um, it was disappointing to go Jason, one down after the after half time. Mm. But I think we showed good character um, and good spirit to come back. We had a lot of chances and luckily we ended up getting it in the what 90 second minute, something right. like that. Um, yeah. It was it was coming, but um, and then after we got that I thought that we might have had a chance or two to get the winner, but luckily, uh, unluckily we didn't. It was great that you still had that belief that there was something in this game for yeah. you. Is that, is that a fair comment? I think so. Um, I think the goal kicked us into shape. Mm. Um, and I think from then on, really, we, we dominated. Obviously, they had a few chances on the break, but you're going to get that with um, when you're down. Um, but we had a few kind of clear off the line, quite a few crosses going in. Mm. So, yeah, I thought we reacted really well. How are you feeling now? Obviously, missing that game uh, in midweek, and probably a, not a great one to miss, really, given what happened. But how are you feeling now? Um, I felt I felt good. Um, really disappointing to miss miss um, Tuesday night. I'm gutted to miss the second half on, sat on the Saturday as well. Um, I thought that when I came off, I'd be looking forward to the next round. Telford away, I think it would have been, but that's gone now, and um, it's looking onto the league. And I think if we can follow this result up with a positive one on Saturday, um, then it'll put us in a good position then. From a personal perspective, I mean, despite missing a little bit of football, you're still the joint top scorer in this league, and of course, you're going to come head to head against the other guy, uh, Dan Maguire, next weekend. It's going to be an interesting encounter. To be fair, I haven't been looking what what he's been doing. I, I couldn't tell you who it was. Um, I'm just trying to concentrate on what I'm doing, um, put good performances in, and hopefully score a few goals here and there as well. Have you surprised yourself at all with the number of goals you got? I think that's 13 in 14 now. Um, I was quietly confident when I came here. Um, but it's strange as a striker. Sometimes you can go on a run and score every game. Sometimes you can go through real barren spells. And it's just trying to remain balanced when, when that happens. If, if you do go a few games without getting a goal, then to just keep positive about it. The same when you're scoring, trying to just keep that going as well. And do you have a preference of, to the, the approach that County take? I mean, today you started almost as a lone striker with Gary playing in the hole behind you and then yeah. finished up with Adam alongside you and Jimmy was providing a bit of uh, supplementary support as well. Do you have a preference about your formation? I, I don't mind. I just want to play. Um, <laughs> I've been used to playing uh, as a lone striker normally with someone in and around me. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm learning all the time. So... Um, whether someone plays up with me, I'm learning their types of movements. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to improve, yeah. And of course, it's your birthday today. Many happy returns. You're celebrating <laughs> tonight? Yes, I am, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> You're not telling us where, are <laughs> Just in case Gary Scott turns up. Exactly. <laughs> well, listen, mate, well done today. Great right. equaliser. Top man. Thanks.